This is a quick video on how to use layer masks in GIMP. Um, we're going to make an astro picture and for this we need a picture of the moon and a couple of other planets as well which I've already uh, taken photos of. So what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to take my finished files which I have over here and I'm going to drag these files into GIMP. So first of all let's drag a picture of the moon. There we go. So I've got a picture of the moon there um, with its surface. What I was going to do is then put a couple of planets going maybe one around here, maybe one somewhere around here as well. So the next thing to do, because I've got the moon there, is to drag in Jupiter. So I'm going to drag in Jupiter there. And you'll see if I switch off using these sort of little eyes that are here, if I switch that off, you'll see Jupiter is there and you can also see one of Jupiter's moons. But of course when I turn the moon on it's currently covering Jupiter. So I'm now going to bring Saturn in as well. So I'll just drag and drop Saturn and these are now appearing as three separate layers that you can see there. And if I turn these off, there we go, we've got Saturn, we've got Jupiter and we've got the moon. Now um, what we're going to do now is use a layer mask. Um, now the first thing we need to do is sort out the order of these because I want the moon to be through all of these images. So I'm literally going to pick the moon up and pull its layer down to the bottom. So we can now see that the moon is on the bottom, followed by Saturn and followed by Jupiter. I'm going to turn the moon off for now and we're going to position Jupiter. So I go over here and get the move tool in GIMP. So we click the move tool and then you literally pick up Jupiter and you can position it where you roughly think it's going to be. So I'm going to just pop Jupiter there. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with Saturn and put Saturn over in the other corner. And now when I turn on the moon we can see roughly in the roughly in the right place. I'm just going to tweak them up a bit. Maybe I might even put Saturn just at the top there. Let's just see where Saturn is in relation to that. Oh that would work quite well. If I move Saturn down you can see I'm just seeing the position. So I'll just move that down. And Jupiter I'm actually just going to put there. Just turn off Saturn. Just dip it up a tiny bit. There we go. Right, so the problem is though, of course, we've got these black boxes around our planets, which we want to get rid of. So the first thing we need to do, I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to start with Jupiter at the top, so I'll just turn Saturn off for now. We're going to add a layer mask to this. So the first thing to do is to select Jupiter so that you know you're working on this particular layer. And then we're going to add a layer mask. So at the top here you've got a tab which is layer. And we need to go to mask and add layer mask. You want black with full transparency. And then click add. And you'll notice that you've got this green box here. And you'll see that you've also got a second part of the layer here which is the mask and the mask because it's black it allows the previous layers to show through and if anything that's on this layer mask here is white it will allow the pitch to show through so basically black prevents it from showing through and white allows it to show through so what I'm now going to do is use my paintbrush here. I'm going to select that layer mask there and we're literally going to draw Jupiter in. Now you can see here there's a little circle that's following there. I'm just going to make it slightly bigger and you can see now the circle is bigger. Now I know that it was roughly around here so if I select the layer mask and then start to draw you can see the planet appears. 
and you'll see over here a tiny little bit of white. Now if I was to right click on there and then select show layer mask you will see that we've drawn white on there with on our layer mask and to show that it's the visible part at the moment it's turned green so I'll just turn off the layer mask so we've now got Saturn appearing there and one important point to notice I did forget to select white so you have to select white from the color there which is there in the paintbrush menu so we've now got most of Jupiter I just need to make it a little bit smaller because I don't want to I don't want too much of the black to show you there's Jupiter and it did have a moon so I'm just going to color in the moon as well because I quite like seeing the moon so there we go we've now got the moon and Jupiter which is great so now we're going to turn on Saturn so Saturn is there and we can see there and we're going to go through exactly the same process again um, we're going to choose layer making sure we've selected that particular layer first mask add layer mask and we need black with full transparency and you click add that then disappears and we can then see that we've got a layer mask here so then we select our paintbrush now this time because it's quite small I think it's somewhere around there I'm just going to paint it yep there we go so I'm just going to paint in a little bit of satin and then we'll be able to see we've now got the moon and Jupiter and Saturn in one picture which is really good now if we were to again look at this and show layer mask you can see that's the white which we drew on there and if I was to select on that one and show layer mask that's the white of Jupiter and there's Jupiter's moon as well so we'll just turn those masks off there we go so we're now back to our original image so we've now created a little composite image there which we can now save off um, so we've got our picture of the moon with Jupiter and Saturn so all we'd have to do then is go file and export as and then save it as the image that we want I hope that was useful um, it's just a really simple way of using layer masks to pick out the bit you want um, it's really important that the final image that you're adding the additional bits to is at the, the bottom there um, and uh, yeah I hope that was useful